Today topic is on non-proportional reinsurance premium. Remember that the reinsurer and the insurer are not sharing the original premium and they will have to find a separate rate for the reinsurance premium. So remember that there is no proportional sharing of risk and loss under non-proportional, so they are not sharing in proportional the original premium. So the premium rate or the reinsurance premium rate for risk assess of loss is computed separately from the original premium rate of the reinsured original contract. So where do they get this rate? This rate is obtained by multiplying the rate to the insurer gross net premium income or GNPI of the protected portfolio. So the calculations of premium rate is derived from what they call it a burning cost multiplied by the loading factor. So what is burning cost? Burning cost is one type, is a method to compute the premium for non-proportional reinsurance. In particular, in excess of loss and in stop loss reinsurance. Whereby, in this method, the premium is related directly to the insured claims experience. So, rate depends on the insured claim experience from the previous year. More claims will result in higher rate. That is why it is called burning cost because it refers to how much claim is burned by the reinsurer. How much claim that the reinsurer has paid that is called burning cost. So what reinsurer does is they will review the sedent or the insurer claim experience to determine what proportion of premium income will have burned up by the reinsurance claim. So there are two important variables in burning cost. Number one, the total premium income or the GNPI and the total claim recovered from the reinsurer from the previous year. Talking about previous year, it can be three years data or in maximum, it can be five years claims data. So the formula for burning cost is simply the amount of claims paid by the reinsurer divided by the GNPI of the portfolio. So the reinsurance premium rate is a product of burning cost, which is from here, burning cost times the loading factor times 100%. Once they get the premium rate, this rate is applied against the GNPI, and that will result in the annual premium paid by the insurer to the reinsurer. The burning cost is then loaded with a factor to provide a margin for reinsurance expenses and profit to produce loaded burning cost or reinsurance premium rate. Okay, the loading factor is to cover reinsurance expenses and profit. For example, loading factor can be 100 over 70, can be 100 over 80, it can be 100 over 60, it depends on the reinsurer. So burning cost, again, as I mentioned, is computed from past loss claims of an excess of loss treaty. Okay, let's go through some of the example to make uh, the point clearer. Okay, over here I have one, two, three, four, five five years claims data with regards to excess of loss. So I also have here five year GNPI data, year one premium, meaning that year one GNPI, year two GNPI, year three GNPI, year four GNPI, year five GNPI, and the corresponding claims for each of the five years. For example, for year one, there are three claims incurred for year two, there are also three claims incurred for year three, only one claim. For year four, there are two claims. For year five, there are three claims. 
Okay, out of these claims, how many claims are paid by the reinsurer? It depends on the reinsurance cover. So we have a cover here with a maximum of 500 in excess of deductible of 100,000. So you have to calculate each year one by one how much claim are paid by the reinsurer. Okay, for example, let's say for year one, the first claim is 98,000 ringgit. If you look at the deductible here, it is 100,000. So definitely, reinsurer is paying zero because this claim is not more than deductible. The second claim, 300,000, is more than 100,000 deductible. So reinsurer is paying 200. 300 minus 100, 200. And for claim number three, 150, deduct deductible of 100, so reinsurer is paying 50,000. So for year one, the total claims for year one is 200,000 plus 50,000. They're going to be 250,000. So that's how it works for the rest of the other years. So you have to calculate separately. Once you have all your annual claims for the layer for all the five years, cumulative claims, let's calculate how much is the total claims for the five years. Okay, for year one, 250. Let's make it slightly bigger. Year two, 550. Year three, 500,000. Year 4, 650. And the last, the fifth year, 545. Five. So total claims, 545000. Zero, zero, zero. So we have a total of 5 years claims paid by the reinsurer. So what is the cumulative claim? or total claims for the five years. So the total is 249, or oh sorry, 2,495,000. Okay, remember, the second component of burning cost is the total GNPI of the previous year. So we have five years GNPI here, 3 million, 2.5 million, 2.275 million, 2.6 million, and 3 million. So let's calculate the total GNPI for the five years. 3 million, 2.5, 0, 0, 0. 2.6 and the last year gonna be 3 million okay so this are the, the figures for GNPI for five years so what is the total so total GNPI for five years is one three three seven five zero 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 so now let's calculate the burning cost so what is the formula of burning cost amount of claims recovered divided by the GNPI Amount of claim recovered here divide by total GNPI. So burning cost is 0 0.186. So once you, you, you got the burning cost, now let's calculate the rate. Compute the reinsurance premium rate given the loading factor of 100 over 80. Okay, remember? How to calculate reinsurance premium rate is burning cost times loading factor times 100%. So 
So the rate is burning cost, which is this figure. times loading factor 100 over 80 and times 100 percent so given loading factor of 100 over 80 the reinsurance premium rate is 23.32 so that is how you calculate burning cost. It is quite simple. Just remember that it's gonna be first we calculate the burning cost, which is total claims recovered divided by total GNPI. Once you get the G, the burning cost, you can calculate the rate by multiplying the burning cost by the loading factor and one hundred percent. 